Taco Thursday. Do you know what time it is? Taco Thursday. Ah, this will be so good. And the subject that we're gonna talk today is why we love to live in our van. Because at least me, I'm getting always asked, are you still living in your van and uh, living with the discomfort of the van? But even if it has some discomforts, still we love to live in this van. My most favorite type of living would be living in the middle of nowhere in small cottage with no electricity and of course full 4G connection but because it's, that's not possible van is really good substitute for that yeah we are in Helsinki just by the sea and with the full 4G connection and living in a van is, has its perks Everything is small and it might seem a bit claustrophobic at first, but it's actually a positive thing. I need onions and I know I have onions in this locker. I don't even have to move. Look. Everything is arms reach, so two onions. And because you don't have that much storage space, you don't buy any useless stuff and if you really need something you have to make a space for it so i think that's the one number one reason why living in a van is actually kind of cheap because you just cannot buy anything and we have lived now three years in our van and i don't even remember how loud our neighbors were but now when you don't have any neighbors neighbors just by your apartment you don't want to go back no this is yeah. so much better. We can paint this whole car black from inside and outside if we choose to. Do you think we could put a really big hole in our roof and put the chimney there sticking if we live it in an apartment? Yeah, one perk that comes to my mind is of course money, 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 money. This is really cheap way of living. We used to live in an apartment that we owned. When you have paid your debt, it's not that expensive to live in your apartment, but still you have all that asset in your apartment stuck there on the walls. When we have now just a little bit of money on this ceiling and that's it. If we convert like expenses, apartment and van, van is lower, even if you have to buy new van every seven years. That's our calculation that we have made. So we can save a lot of money from a monthly paycheck. By living this lifestyle. Yeah, that's one perk, of course. Yeah. It's really positive perk. When your expenses are low, okay, you can save a lot of money, but also it enables you to buy things that you really want. Yeah. You don't have to worry about buying a expensive laptop or camera or a drone or yeah. something that you really want. Amazing. Even if you don't make that much money, but if you don't pay rent, there's like tons of cash. So you can invest it in the good food or with your friends, having a time out and time out, <laughs> having a nice... <laughs> nice time out. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, close enough. Or having a docks, because having a docks yeah. is really expensive. Docks are kind of expensive, especially if they get sick, because wets are so expensive. Yeah. But we also, having a dock and living in a van is so great, because you can just open the door and dogs can go outside. It's the same that you live in a house. Yeah. If with you your own yard. You can just but you have to live in a big mansion to have a huge yard. Yeah, in Helsinki area at least the yards are like... Tiny little postcard yards. And still I would love to live in Kajaani in the middle of nowhere <laughs> with no neighbors and just forest around us. So. Yeah, but I think it's pretty common Finnish dream to live in the middle of the nowhere in somewhere in the nature. The summer cottage is also the same thing that yeah. people love to uh, own a summer cottage just to get isolated and middle of nowhere with yeah. no neighbors and no modern luxury so 
yeah. usually no running water and electricity and there is just peaceful and then you can feel relaxed and after summer you can go back to work and have a hard working days. But summer cottage, if you want to buy one, especially something that is near the lake or you have your own beach, they are so expensive. So camper ones are great substitutes for that because these are a little bit cheaper. And there's a lots of places that you can camp in the yeah. nature and with your own beach because everyone leaves when the sun goes down and then you have the whole place to yourself. Yeah. Even if it's really popular and really beautiful place. You get a little paranoid when you leave your home somewhere on the side of the street or area that you don't know. I would say if somebody would break into our home and take everything from here, I wouldn't be even sad. We have learned to appreciate more moments and experiences rather than stuff. But also because the space is so small and we have only like these stuff that we use daily basis, these are really important to us. So we don't really own anything that we do not need. And when you live in a van, your life gets much more simpler. Your biggest job or biggest thing that you have to do is carry water to your van. Yeah. And do you know how much we feel joy every time we feel this? So that's just the uh, simple things that you have to fulfill and that's it. Yeah. You appreciate everything so much more. Like a fresh kale that was on sale. Or oh, that your LBG bottle is still half full and you don't have to go buy a new one or change it. So after you have filled your basic needs in life, shelter, water, food, after that, everything else is just, just extra. extra and we can feel, fulfill our, all our needs easily in this van. And those extra things after your basic needs, uh, you are really grateful what you get. Yeah. If after we... six months using this bucket, bucket watcher, do you know how much we feel joy to use a real plumbing in our car? And use the 110 liter pocket rather than 10 liters. Yeah, it feels like infinite water. So everything gives you a little perspective when you live less, then you appreciate everything so much more. So after those basic needs, when you get something extra, you are really grateful. So for example, if you get your water tank full of fresh spring water, it's like, ah, oh, this tastes so good when you have all like carry that water to your van. And Make a little effort and then the water tastes so much better. Yeah. So little things you get grateful. If it's sunny, you get grateful because you can get outside. When you were apartment, we weren't that happy when it yeah, was... Yeah, when you live it in apartment, you really didn't care like if it, was, if it was raining or not. And it's so easy to just leave and go travel because we have everything that we need. In this van, we just buckle up and go wherever we like. It's such a cliche, but you are truly f free to do whatever. There's no timetables, no schedules, no booking a hostels, no train rides, no airplanes. You can just drive wherever you will. In Finland, people are encouraged to enjoy the nature and when you live in a van, in the middle of the nature, you can actually enjoy it to the fullest. fullest. Because your home is there. Yeah. And it's really nice that the, at least in Finland, the nature is free everyone to use to refresh their minds after really. harsh work weeks that we have to do here. <laughs> yeah, it's strange to go somewhere for eight hours and do something and come home and repeat that a thousand times and thousand times. Then you did. But these are the reasons that why we love to live in our van and we are going to do it in the future also. Yeah, there's no specific 
one thing that we absolutely adore. It's all the little things. Yeah. And some of them might seem a bit negative, some people, like there's no infinite power, but we truly love that we generate our own power and we don't have to pay, pay an electrical bill. Same with the water. We cannot use the infinite water, or we can, but we have to carry the own water. But the plus size is we don't get water bill. So these are the little things that we actually really much love in our life. Yeah, and I love the simplicity. It's really simple. Yeah. And I think modern men are too complex and everything has to be too hard. And when you go back to the basic, you know that life is actually kind of easy. Yeah. It's and just humans that make it hard. Yeah. When you have like level that you go there, this is easy. Then you start working up and trying to do yeah. more complex things and then it gets harder yeah when you keep it simple it's really easy and relaxing yeah every time that i come home i i'm relaxed like right away i don't have to yeah. stress anything and yeah just enjoy life simple lovely life stress yeah. free stress free but not hunger free i'm starving so let's start cooking this They're saying you only live once, YOLO. <laughs> but I think the better version is you only die once and you live every day. So make sure you live every day. Nyt oli syvällistä. <laughs> Nyt oli no deepi. Now it's deep shit. Now this no, is, where does this it goes is the like deep, deep end. We are not spiritual. <laughs> <laughs>